Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Well, welcome back to Giga Texas. It's Wednesday, the 7th of September. It is very hot, very humid today. So keep that in mind as you see all the workers out here at the site. Now there's a lot going on, but the three areas that I want to sort of concentrate on today is related to the theme of the day, which is earthwork. On the far east side in the warehouse on wheels yard and all of that grade work that's been going on, they're starting to merge the sections together in one large overall section, as you can see by these images. In addition to this, north of the battery cathode plant, the excavation work and pond filling is continuing and it's actually accelerating. What we see up there is some of the dirt being excavated put into center dump trucks and brought over to the east side where that warehouse and wheels yard expansion is going on. But we also see dump trucks taking similar dirt from that same area north and filling in the ponds. And this pond filling has been going on now for about the last week and a half or two weeks. And if you saw my last video, I'll kind of speculate on what that might be. So check that video out. And finally, the third area of earthwork is in that North Electrical Substation construction site. The main site itself is getting more of the grade work to continue to prepare for the construction to come. And also, they're doing a lot more of the stormwater pipe installation in that water detention pond and trenching out more locations for that pipe to install. So anyway, earthwork is the theme of the day. A lot more to see. Check out the rest of the video. There'll be a lot of narration and a lot more things to see. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it, and I hope you have a great Wednesday. A special thank you to all of my outstanding Patreons for your continued encouragement and support. Patreon members get access to hundreds of high-resolution photos, previews of the future material, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons as this helps as well. Thank you. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga, Texas. Well, we start off on the east side of Giga Texas today to give you an overview of how this entire area appears today and how the reshaping efforts continue and making a lot of progress in making this area something completely new. The sunrise today was gorgeous, but the sun angle made a little bit of the viewing difficult. So for the moment, I'm going to continue to face the drone to the west and keep the sun behind me. But that's okay because that allows us to get some really great views on this east side of the factory today. I'm approaching that southeast section of the east large parking lot. This is where the new car staging and eventually the transport truck pickup will be. And if you notice, they're using this temporarily for trailers uh, to reconfigure that warehouse on wheels yard on the east side. Also note, all of the light poles in this section have now had the lights installed onto the bases. So that should continue into the rest of the east parking lot and also this smaller parking lot with the helo pad as well. And for those asking, um, no, I have not seen a helicopter land here yet, but uh, who knows? That's uh, something that uh, we should start seeing sometime in the future. The sunlight gives us a great view of this east secondary entrance, and I'll give you some uh, closer looks at how that appears today. And it still looks like they're storing some equipment and maybe some car bodies or parts on the floor right behind those glass doors. This is the cargo loading section of the body in white and I'm just flying to the south along the body in white section. Again that is where they take the castings and the stampings and the robots put them together into a basic body that will eventually go on for paint purposes. This is that new apron area where the eight cargo bays were cut into the wall and that 
very large rectangular one as well. So continue to monitor that. I'm pulling back to show you this uh, temporary location for the trailers as well. And again, they're moving these all over the site to allow for that construction on the warehouse on wheels section on the east. Also, I noticed these two components here. These are more of the ICOM equipment. And we saw the one on the left near the casting machine structure earlier last week. But now it looks like another component has been delivered. And since they're now on the material storage area here near the stamping and stamping extension sections, I'm wondering if these aren't parts that uh, will be uh, included with the equipment that will be installed into that uh, central uh, stamping extension section that uh, on the south end of the building that they're doing all of the construction inside. And I'll continue to monitor that to see if that, in fact, does develop or receive more components. This is the stamping machine structure, and we are just looking at the east side and some of the activity here. And we're looking at the south temporary staging location with more of the trailers, again, to give that room on that east side while that reconfiguration work is going on. We'll come back to the south parking and transport lot in a second, but first I want to show you a closer view of the horizontal drilling operation going on. This is pulling very large uh, pipes from the south of the Colorado River, underneath the Colorado River, and to this location, and then it will continue to the north at some point, and we'll continue to monitor that. I'm going to give you a better and different view of the south material storage, and you can kind of see how this has been configured a lot more materials and it just continues to see more and more arriving interestingly enough the crane that was here has been moved away so i'm not sure what that exactly indicates but i'll peer at the drone around just to give you a better view of this south material storage and just how it continues to evolve and change and again all of the steel components uh, some of that has been used in the general assembly but some of this, there's so much of it, I'm wondering if it's not going to be used in the stamping extension or for another construction project at some point. This is definitely something I will continue to monitor. As we move toward the southwest portion of the main site, this just gives you a view of how the building looks today, the cyber pond, and we'll approach into the parking and transport lot and see that Quite a bit more Model Ys have been built, almost all of them in white and a few other colors. Uh, I've had some viewers ask, why are they making so many whites? And I honestly can't answer that. I don't know if it's an ordering issue, if it's a production issue, if it's just uh, uh, the color scheme that most people uh, are looking for right now, or maybe it's for um, deliveries to corporate com customers like Hertz or so. I, I really don't know. But it is interesting to see that uh, quite a few more white Model Ys today. And as you can see, more of the cargo trailers to pick them up. Uh, some people have been wondering why we are not seeing more of the Model Ys here on the south end. And part of the reason is, is that as fast as they're making them and bringing them out to the south end, they're being picked up by these trucks now and moved to the north to the new rail yard up at Hutto, Texas and they're storing cars there while waiting for them to be put onto the rail trucks. So uh, that explains a little bit of why uh, we're not seeing large numbers of Model Ys here on the south. A lot of activity on that uh, loading platform, as you can see, and more components being uh, prepared to be moved up and inside the General Assembly structure. As we move around the southwest corner, you can see that uh, these new superchargers are being used and fortunately it's a Model Y not in white to using it today. As we wrap around to the west side of General Assembly, we'll start here and just give you a view of these uh, seven new cargo bays and doors that have been cut into the walls. You can see the concrete work for the leveler uh, system. Uh, on the uh, entrance of those cargo doors is underway and this gives you a view of how those will look at uh, uh, some point in the near future and again these uh, systems are used to help with the trucks and unloading them into the factory. Just give you another view here of these ramps and uh, 
the operations that are going on here. Model Ys are no longer exiting here. I think they've returned back to the south, which means that the construction inside has uh, progressed to that point where they can redirect the vehicles. Here is the uh, next section near the main entrance that is undergoing uh, earthwork and preparation for an apron area in concrete. And you can see that they're putting in a lot of uh, plumbing work as well. And I'm moving the drone towards the west to show you this new section that's been installed recently. It's a sort of an architectural feature. Still not sure exactly what it will be, if it's for flagpoles or a sign or something else, but you can definitely see what looks like electrical conduit being installed on that western section. So I'll move the drone around just a little bit more so you can get a perspective of where this is located in relation to the main entrance. We worked our way a little bit farther north. I'll show you these four cargo doors that you see with the trailers. These are new as well. They removed some of the temporary panels and they reconfigured this location. And now, as you can see, they're being used to support production and general assembly line one, where the Model Ys are currently being manufactured. I also noticed this new fenced off location with the equipment. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what this is, if it's just uh, for temporary for equipment or something new, so I'll continue to monitor that as time goes on. Um, based on where the sun is, I think I'm going to reposition the drone to give you a view of the solar panel installation and how they continue to expand. Right now we're over the lower portion of the E, and you can see how they're reconfiguring that on the left-hand side. And in the center of the image we see the maybe completion of this portion of the expansion now and this is sort of the area between the E and the T on the south end and again wave to some of the guys they noticed the drone so they're doing a lot of great work and uh, it's just interesting to see how this solar panel installation uh, continues to go. As you can see on that northwest corner with the HVAC ducting and those enclosures I'll just spin the drone around to give us a view of the platforms and work our way back over there so you can get a little bit closer view of how those enclosures are uh, coming along. And you can see two cranes are working, uh, busily putting uh, equipment up onto the second and third, uh, correction, the third and fourth floors of the battery cell manufacturing location. And again, this is just a different view uh, showing you how the enclosures on the left-hand side continue to progress, and they still have two more to go until this is completed. Now we're at a little bit lower level. I'll just show you again the work that's going on here on these two platforms. And you can see a lot of equipment entering and exiting the ground floor of the battery cell structure as well. These two doors right in the middle are to the plastics manufacturing section of Giga Texas. And we can see these platforms here with a lot of materials going into the paint shop. You can see a lot of these uh, white painted structures or structural components. These again are for platforms and for uh, raised locations for robots and other machinery. We also see the green wrapped modular systems and quite a bit of HVAC ducting as well. So a lot is going on internal to paint and I wish I knew what that was but uh, obviously they are uh, doing a lot of work to continue to expand production capability. As we wrap around the east side of the casting machine structure we take a look at all of the castings that have been uh, manufactured. Also on the bottom side, it looks like there's some more components in those kind of the steel square boxes. I'm not sure if those are HVAC or something else, but uh, as, as always, more expansion work going on inside casting as well. I have not seen the 9,000 ton Gigapress arrive yet. I'm still watching for that. And if I do see it, I will make sure everybody 
uh, and gets the views of that as quickly as I can. I'm going to move the drone around just to give you a better perspective on all of the castings that are being um, made and stockpiled here on the east side. You can see those racking systems. Some of them have castings in them, but quite a few of them are still empty. Uh, it's interesting to watch the ebb and flow of castings being filled into those racks and then uh, emptying back out again. So let's proceed up to the north and see, look at the changes that are going on with the electrical substation. And there is a lot of uh, new activity, so let's take a look around. First, on the south end here, you see all of these pipes, these uh, corrugated steel pipes and also some of the concrete pipes. These are part of the water management system that they are installing, and we get a chance to see some of that installation work going on today. Also, you can see overall on the main construction site, more earthwork has uh, uh, been done and continues to be done to prepare that grade for future construction. And you can see the uh, central area here where it's kind of uh, like a driveway. Uh, you can see the stormwater pipe has been installed underneath those three drive paths. And it looks like they're continuing to install more stormwater pipe. This one looks like it's connecting over towards the east. So it'll be interesting to see where this uh, connects at some point in the future. As you can see, these uh, two uh, excavators are positioning this large pipe and you can see uh, the workers inside that pit, just to give you an idea of the overall scale and just uh, how large these pipes actually are. Uh, sometimes we don't get a good idea of how big everything is here from the drone images, but I think that uh, is something that uh, really helps when you see people next to some of the equipment. Here on the north side, we see those uh, cages uh, rebar cages still waiting for installation. There's four main large ones and then these smaller caps, which I think are the mounting points. And again, these should be for installation of some of these large power lines like you see on the right hand side of the screen. Overall, this is the view of the electrical substation and the construction progress as of today. And we'll continue to monitor this and soon we should start seeing some electrical components being installed. Let's take a trip over to the battery cathode plant where we see a lot of changes today as well. So as we approach the north end, we'll start with the excavation work that is going on here. And what is very interesting is You'll see the yellow dump trucks, those are getting dirt and they're moving towards the north. And the center dump trucks are getting dirt and moving over to the east side. And as I pull the drone back, you can see lots of trucks lined up for more dirt. And this entire area is growing in size, not only to the north, but also in width. Also on the right hand side of the screen, if you notice, they are filling in more of the ponds. This is actually the second uh, main pond that has been filled in and it uh, is allowing expansion of this entire section towards the west. And uh, again, take a look at my previous video. We talk a little bit about what may be going on. Uh, it's a little bit of speculation, but it may be related to a new permit that was filed with the city of Austin as well. Also, just coming underneath the drone, you can see more of the ponds that have been filled in. And again, that uh, continued excavation work off to the left. We're approaching the north end of the battery cathode plant. So let's take a tour around this side and around the west side just to see all of the changes that are going on today. You can see quite a bit of materials still being stored in this location. And it's uh, steel parts, it looks like steam pipes, uh, water pipes, and a variety of other components. You notice these two concrete square vaults. If you look to the left of the screen, you can see where they're being installed. This is that, uh, what I call the manifold section, where I believe in that cordoned off area, we may see a tank farm installed. And some of those components are over on the far west side of the highway, as we've detailed in previous videos. As you see on this section, uh, interior walls on the second and third floor 
large rectangular and smaller tubular HVAC ducting has been installed. The temporary platform is being used quite a bit and on the ground floor that very heavily reinforced slab uh, has been poured with concrete and now is in the curing process. I'll reposition the drone over the roof and we'll look at the west side and this also gives you a really quick sneak peek at what's going on in that east uh, warehouse on wheels location as well. But as we turn back towards the battery cathode plant, this view is really good with the lighting to see how this section of the building is being transformed. Again, that ground slab is uh, uh, mostly cured. It looks like they are cross-cutting it as well, and that's to help uh, with uh, stress relief in the slab itself. The crane is busy loading up materials to the roof as crews continue to fit out the weatherproof membrane. You can see this section of the building is going to have another large open section, two of which can exceed all the way up through the second to the third floor. And the white material on the ground there is more of the uh, insulation that's being used on top of the roof. The cementious mixture spray work and insulation is now completed as you can see and the crews are working from the south to the north now to put that weatherproof membrane on. And the way they do that is they have the insulation panels where in the square white packages they put that down on top of the concrete and then they put the white uh, membrane on top of that to finish out the weatherproof portion of the roof. And here you see some of the workers uh, performing all of those activities right now. So as promised, it's going to take a closer look at the work that's going on here in the uh, yard location here on the east side and the not only reconfiguration, but the work on this prepared surface. It looks like the grade work is mostly done. They've put on the gravel mix which will help stabilize the top soil and it's possible this is all going to eventually be paved and uh, expand that uh, warehouse on wheels with all the trailers uh, to this entire section. Uh, just under the drone on the left side you see all of this new gravel mix that has been laid down and you can see the bulldozers uh, preparing that surface and you can also see just uh, how this end of this new section is shaping up and you can see that the earthwork is continuing further towards the west or towards the building from where they have all the gravel mix right now. I'll move the drone around to give you a different view of this section and you can see how it is all starting to transform into one large lot. Maybe it's one large yard for all of the trailers at some point here in the near future. Um, I'm going to maneuver the drone a little bit farther to the west, point it uh, a little bit more to the north, and we're going to fly along the fence line. The reason why I'm doing this, uh, in addition just to give you a views of how this entire section is being reconfigured, is you note that the grade work now between the right and left sides is starting to match up a little bit, although the grade on the right is a little higher than the grade on the left. So what is possible is that they'll finish the right side, move all the trailers, and then they will reconfigure the left side so it's at the same grade. And then that will all be one large contiguous uh, yard location and probably all pay. But I'll continue to monitor that and we'll see how that develops. So I'll move the drone off to the east and get up a little bit higher just to give you an overall view of how the east side is transforming and shaping up and also just uh, put into context where everything is in relation to the main factory. I hope that you enjoyed this video and the information that uh, I discussed and all of the great sites that uh, we've seen around the site. Again, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I hope you have a great day.